and we're sitting in, in the warehouse at Blinko in Milton, West Virginia. And we're going to discuss just a little bit about our shipping. L long before it gets back to, to the warehouse and to packing, uh, after we've made a piece of hot glass, because it has stress in the glass from the cooling process, the outside cools first and then the inside, so it creates some internally dynamic stresses that we've got to get rid of. So we do that by annealing it or slowly cooling it down. Uh, that's not a big problem for us. There's a machine with a giant conveyor belt that moves very slowly. It takes about five hours for the piece to move through that process, taking it from a um, thousand plus degrees down to room temperature where you can actually pick it up. At that point, a uh, quality control person uh, takes the time to look at each piece, picks it up by hand, inspects it, makes sure that it has no, no imperfections. Um, I shouldn't say that. We're handmade glass. Every piece is going to have some small imperfection, but it has no major flaws, no damages, no breaks, no cracks, nothing obvious. Um, at that point, we would sign our name and the date on the bottom of the piece. Uh, if it needs leveled or anything smooth on the bottom, it would go to grinding. And ultimately, from that position, it would come into the warehouse. Uh, staff here would put it on the shelf, from which point the warehouse staff would pick and choose, fill the orders, like all the ones sitting around me at this point, and then Dennis, would be, Dennis or somebody in shipping would pack them to be delivered, hopefully that same day. We spent a lot of time over the years looking at how to ship glass. Uh, once upon a time, we shipped it in uh, straw, which hasn't been the chosen method for a number of decades. Um, we've tried all kinds of other bubble wrap and packing materials and packing processes. Several years back, we experimented with and invested in a spray foam system, which is wonderful. It's about as good as you can get for shipping glass. Oh, we would be, would be remiss if we didn't brag just a little bit and say that our delivery rate for unbroken is 99 plus percent. Um, very rare that our glass doesn't get to your home or your place of business uh, absolutely 100% intact. Uh, the system is kind of neat. Uh, Dennis is the packer today behind me. It's a, sp it's a spray foam that expands up, up, up on application. So we actually uh, prevent the foam from getting on the glass. There's a thin layer of poly or of plastic that goes in there. And the foam actually fills the space make a very snug but padded fit. And it, as far as everything we've ever looked at, it's, it's by far and away the best way to get our wonderful Blinko glass to your home in one piece. So very happy with it, and we are confident you'll be happy with it. If not, by chance, we'll make it right. Uh, we take a great deal of pride in producing our glass, and the product is something that we are one and all proud of here at Blinko. Once we've spent all that time from sand to finished product, we want to make sure that it gets to you safely. We spend as much time in our packing methods and our packing processes as anything else to ensure that the glass gets safely to your home, and we're confident that it will. Um, bulk of our shipping directed to individuals is in America, but it's not just that. It's all over Europe, all over Canada, and around the globe as well. So we ship just about anywhere that some courier can find you. Thank you for watching and learning about Blinko Glass. If you're curious, uh, there are other places you can follow us. We ask you to please like and subscribe and be aware of the other Blinko videos and things we have to share. Thank you.